Uh, Taoiseach, first of all, I want to say that I wish you well in your new role. And I do recognise your genuine collaboration and work on the incorporation of St Angela's into the ATU. I appreciate all of that, Taoiseach. However, this morning, I laid bare the failure of this and previous governments to deliver for the North West. And unfortunately, uh, that was only the start of it. My time is short and I can still only cover a few areas. But Taoiseach, in their country report on Ireland for 2023, the European Commission stated that internal regional disparities remained high in Ireland. And an example of this that they quoted is that the disposable income per head of population in the northern and western region was at just 76% of the EU average. Taoiseach, back in 2010, it was at 92% of the EU average. So we're going backwards compared to European regions and other regions in Ireland. The EU's regional competitive index for 2022 found again that the northern and western region was the only region in Ireland that was below the EU 27 average in terms of competitiveness. Now Taoiseach, the reason I quote all these figures is because I want to make it crystal clear to you that this isn't just my opinion or some kind of political charge. These are the facts and they are the outcome of government action or mostly government inaction. Taoiseach, small businesses urgently need your support. And businesses, particularly along the border region, have exceptional difficulties. And I'm asking you to do what you can to support them. I also want you to listen to our farmers, to work with them, because they are the backbone of the rural economy. And can I finally say, Taoiseach, that I have failed despite many efforts and quoting statistics blindly <coughs> to convince the two previous Tishi of the urgent need for policy change when it comes to systemically delivering on balanced regional development. I am now asking you, as the current Taoiseach, to listen and to act.